Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more Beam NG Drive, complete with a new banner over here. So, you guys are enjoying the police chases, are you? And I actually had some really, really cool suggestions, and this map is absolutely perfect for it. We're over here in Descent Roads, and this map has everything you would want for a police chase, and I have added nothing. There's no roadblocks or anything. This map is so action-packed, you don't need it. It has little, little humps and jumps. It has twisty turns. It has off-road. It has on-road. It has on-road that turns into off-road. It has crappy gravel. It has good gravel. It has pavements and half pavements. And it has hairpin turns and a whole hell of a lot of cliff sides. You guys wanted to see one bad guy try and get away from different tiers of police vehicles, including some high-speed police vehicles that you would expect would go flying off the cliffs, as well as some super capable off-road police vehicles. So over here we have the off-road sheriff, as well as the border patrol. Now these cars here are not just any cars. We want some real good action. So I've taken some special care to increase the power of the engines beyond capacity. We're starting over here with an off-road burn side, something simplistic. But we're going to go on from there. Today we're going to increase our suspect vehicle. It's going to get better and better. And the police are going to have to try and struggle to keep up. I've already tested this map. It works fantastically for this. It just looks awesome. So the idea is, and this is one of your scenarios you guys suggested to me. I love the scenarios. They're really cool. Our criminal over here has stolen some launch codes, as is often the way in a sleepy town like this. Now, he's going to try and lose our heroes in the off-roads of this desolate and super, super just deadly area. The question is, can the police and the Border Patrol keep up with this guy? These city dwellers over here weren't made for the off-road life, but the question is, will they be able to navigate these turns and cliffs? Let's check it out. And we're off. How about a little bit of an action cam over here? Ah, the cinematic view of the burn side. Holy crap! The burn side is really good at it right now. Did you see that? It almost lost control, but it is surprisingly good at off-road navigation. Oh, it thought about going off-road, but then it decided not to, you fool! And the burn side gets absolutely wrecked by the police. Now, I think part of that was all due to its hesitation at going full off-road. Let's give it one more shot before we go ahead and call it a loss on the criminal side. And the burn side is off again. Let's go over here to an orbital view so we can watch the action unfold behind. You can see we get air every once in a while. I love that. I love these little dips and bumps and stuff for this road. It works out perfectly. Those two go fast vehicles flying right behind it. Oh, the back end's coming up, but he's back down. They're amazing. They're all wheel drive and they hug the ground well. Right there though, went a little bit too fast around that corner. Ended up taking the hood almost completely off on the guardrails. Now, where are our other two four-wheel drive police vehicles? Did you see that? Took the light bar completely off. I can't believe it. It shaved the light bar off. Yes, one of the four-wheel drive, no, both of the four-wheel drive law enforcement vehicles a little bit behind, but perhaps they can catch up. Over here, look at the speed from the go-fast vehicle. Oh, no, it navigated it incorrectly, and he is going to go for a tumble, I think, or maybe, no! <laughs> Those big tires, those big tires are trying to pull him over the guardrail, but he just can't do it. And the police close in, and the burn side is done for. And on top of that, we get to see a little bit of a, uh, I don't know what this is over here. Some sort of monster truck rally maneuver. I think you got him, boys. Let's give the burn side one more shot over here in the police view. Let's go over here by the dash cam. Flying through the, this is what it's like, man. Imagine you were, uh, splayed out on the hood <laughs> while some cop was driving at uh, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour on an off-road course. This is what it would look like. Actually, it looks really cool. You can see, too, this is what I love about... Oh, look at that bull crap! One of our buddies just squeezed on past us. How the hell does that go? One of the things I love about this map is how crappy the terrain looks. You can see there's just cracks and you know, they try and pave over and over and over again. Right there, you got some extra payment and trying to smooth out the craptastic roadways. 
Man, this is a this is a fantastic map for chases, though. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think about this map for chases. A big fan of it. I'm gonna have it in the comments section below if you want to check out the map yourself. You can see the burn side is a hell of a vehicle. It takes a lot to catch up with it. Even right now, the Furwood police in front of us kind of tentatively keeping keeping pace, but not really looking to open up that engine and slam into the back side yet. So much variety in these roads though. And look at that, now they're flying. Catching some air right over there, past the burn, and now we're on the cliff sides, boys. Right over here, we got a rocky, almost like a uh, retention wall or something like that, keeping us on sliding past these different turns. There's a hairpin turn almost coming up here. Look at this turn going from the paved area right on to dirt. Now we're truly off road and now we're kind of back on road. It's like half paved, half not. Man, the takeoff on these things is incredible. This is such a cool view for, whoa, <laughs> oh no. I think we just lost part of our bumper when we caught some wicked air that was friggin' sweet. Come on, buddy. Just go ahead, take this guy out. Take his rear end out already. Well, actually some of you guys love the longer chases, so maybe this is exactly what you wanted. You want to see this go on for a little bit so we can look at all this beautiful scenery, man. The scenery around here is freaking fantastic. Look at those cliffs over there. Look at the size of the cliffs. What do we have over here? We've got another small, just more guardrails and stuff like that, and a lot of off-road. I don't really know if I could call this pavement. It's just kind of packed dirt, it almost looks like, or maybe just the road has so much dirt on it that it looks like a dirt road. Nice swinging turn over here. We're smashing the guy in front of us. Get out of the way. We're the lead police car now, sucker. That's what I'm talking about. I don't even know where my other four-wheel drive guys are. They're probably way in the back. Now, right here is where we can get some good speed. Take this guy out. Take him out already. There we go. He caught it. He screwed it up. And there we go. Looks like we may have it now, boys. Hold on. Is it possible? Is it possible that it's all over? Did he get away? How is that even possible? Oh no! Look at this! He's on fire. It looks like he must have met up with the two off-road police vehicles in the back and now the burn side has finally been caught. Okay, hold on. Real quick, we need to take a moment. First off, that was, I think that was a really cool chase. I think that was a fantastic chase right there. Look at what happened to all these vehicles. This is the type of carnage I want. This map is so good for this. This sheriff's vehicle, just look at this perfect tree impact right here. The nose of the vehicle crumpling in. Looks like this hit something on the side. Oh, look at the passenger side and the front. Complete and utter devastation. Our burn side did so well. And now it's caught fire. Over here, it looks like the axle on the rear is broken. One of the Furwood police are doing okay, but what in the hell happened to the other one? I don't even know where... Oh, here he is on his side, sad and alone, just kind of rocking back and forth. But look at how much more road we had. All that chase, and we still didn't get past all this. Let's try a different off-road vehicle for our getaway car, though. There we go, boys. The Kodiak. Tough as nails, beefy, and I gave it a little something extra in the old engine department. Let's see how well this guy does against our pretty proficient team of off-road and go-fast vehicles over here for the police force. The Kodiak, though, is an absolute beast. You can see already it navigates through this terrain with no big deal, but not moving too fast when it comes to the roadway. Oh, <laughs> just barely saved itself. But now it's looking like at the crossroads, it doesn't know where to go. It is surrounded by police vehicles, but it smashes through the Furwood police. You can see Furwood climbing up the hill with it. I can't believe it's doing this well. Look at the front end, completely taken off. I'm not sure there's any other police vehicles nearby. Furwood in the dust of the Kodiak, but not giving up in the slightest. Look at it continue to go. You gotta give this guy props. Oh, a swing and a miss. He almost took the rear end of the Kodiak clean out, but I would say that Furwood is now pretty much a goner, or, or maybe not. Is he still coming down the roadway here? Look at how well the, look at how well 
The Kodiak navigates these insane roads over here. Look at how narrow they are with rocks. If you make one wrong turn, you will slam into those rocks and you are freaking done. But over here, Furwood doing an excellent job as well, right there on the back end. Now that was the aggression I want to see from the police. And the Kodiak gets mangled from the rear. You can see the two vehicles are stuck together. Here's another vehicle. Look at this guy. He was trying desperately to catch up, but look at what ends up happening. He smashes into the guardrail at like 70 miles an hour. Furwood is a goner. Oh no, I think he's gonna want a piece. He's definitely gonna want a piece. Look, he's going. I don't, is he gonna be able to reach our two other vehicles? There's a lot of damage to that car, but it still seems to be working pretty good. You can see the Kodiak is still trying to drag the other Furwood vehicle around, but there you go with two police cruisers on him. There is no way he's getting away. And one of our other two vehicles, well, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened here. It looks like there's an engine coming out or something. That's very, very awkward and embarrassing. One more time, let's do a little bit of the cinematic view. The Kodiak, the beast that it is, immediately pulling away. But the question is, what is it gonna be like when it comes up to the intersection over here? Furwood police already, literally, shoving the vehicle up the ass of the Kodiak, but the Kodiak doesn't take crap from anyone. It is pulling away, sort of. Now it's starting to get driven off the road. I mean, it's an off-road course, but it's getting driven off the road in a way that it probably is not prepared for, and now, it looks like the tires just can't get the grip it needs. And once again, the Kodiak appears to be completely and utterly taken down. But what the hell is going on over here? <laughs> you two off-road guys, what in the, what the hell are you doing over here? Oh, there's three. I'm sorry. I miss you because you're so small. It's genetics after all. But these two, the sheriff vehicle, the Border Patrol are just more than happy to smash their cars up without ever even getting a hand on the Kodiak. All right, what I've done here is I've given the Kodiak a little bit of extra breathing room. So we'll see how quickly these guys can catch up to it. Now, I don't know. Whoa! Did you see him fly it over that turn over there? Holy crap. But seems to be slowing down a little bit. Nope, that was just my imagination. He's not slowing down at all. Furwood immediately in the backside of the Kodiak right there. Trying to just, no, his own guy takes him out and both Furwood police are already just almost obliterated going around, I don't know, what is that, like maybe the third turn or so? Oh no, they're still in it, or at least one of them's still in it. You can see that front, the front hood is kind of flopping around, but hey, at, at his age, what do you want? Furwood police, where in the world are our other vehicles? Here's that first Furwood vehicle. Doing pretty good, he's kind of catching, yep. Right over here. It's a giant freaking mess. Look at this mess. Now everyone's finally starting to get into it. Furwood, get the hell out of the way. 424 doesn't have time for your crap. Wow. Ugh. I think I, uh, I think I may have to give these guys different engines or something. Maybe they're just having a hard time navigating with the power. It's odd though, you'd think they'd do okay. Back down here. The Kodiak appears to have no real competition. As a matter of fact, I think he's gonna get away with the launch codes. Civilization as we know it is pretty much over, folks. Is there anyone that can keep up? Yes. There is one single Furwood police vehicle. Look, it looks like this friggin' car has been through World War III. The friggin' bumper's hanging off. The front end is damn near in the driver's lap. Glass is all busted up. He's, he just lost a piece of the vehicle. Oh, ho, 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 ho. now that is unfortunate. A big swing and a miss. I don't know if Furwood's gonna be able to recover from that, but he's certainly gonna try. Going off road down here, down these treacherous turns. Look at this crap. Look at that little cement. The cement air. Yeah, just go ahead and get rid of the uh, bumper there. It's not like we needed it anyway. It wasn't really protecting very much at all. I think I hear something else up there, perhaps? Nah, it's just my imagination. The Kodiak now has another vehicle in its sights, and whoa, okay. Thank God for those rocks being there, otherwise we would probably end up going for a swim right now. Beautiful water out there, though. Look at how gorgeous that water is. The Kodiak's having trouble, though. Furwood 
Doors hanging off. It's like a friggin' Burke Reynolds film. Doors hanging off. The hood is gone. The tail is gone. And yes, somehow, somehow he takes out the Kodiak. We're getting those codes back, Kodiak. No nuclear freaking winter for you, you rat bastard. All right, boys, we're doing it. It's the beast. Three tons of off-road ass-kicking power with a little bit extra under the hood just because I think they need it. The question is, will the police be able to catch this guy? I went ahead and brought down a little bit of the power of the four-wheel drive off-road police vehicles, the, uh, the one sheriff off-road and the border patrol. I think it's probably a little bit too much. Let's freaking do this over here with the beast. Let's go back to one of these police vehicles inside we go let's see how well we can navigate this over here i'm not sure we're gonna see how well this engine i think this is the 6-2 hemi right now we've gotten here how well they can navigate actually navigating very very well so far the beast though is i mean appropriately a beast it is going to be a hell of a thing to catch up with but we're doing pretty good right over there Furwood has a little bit of a grasp on him you can see we're getting smacked from behind by some jackass i bet it's the other Furwood police you son of a bitch Get off of our ass. We've got work to do. We are tough and we're ready to take down bastards that would try and ruin the lives of the beautiful people of Descentville. I don't really know what else to call this place. Oh my God, look at the insanity that is going on right now. Everyone wants to be in front. This is what it's really like in all the movies with the police vehicles. You ever notice how like Fast and Furious and stuff like that, all the police are always just beating the living crap out of each other. All the police vehicles are just smashing into one another. Car parts flying everywhere. Freaking doing flips and stuff like that. Catching on fire. No one ever worries about the police. Over in Fast and the Furious, 3,000 police cars get freaking destructicated. No one ever checks on them, though. I... <laughs> no one's going to be able to catch this guy. because Whoa, okay. A freaking bumper just went flying. You know what? I think I'm gonna space the police vehicles out a little bit more. Or maybe I won't have to. We're back in pursuit. I, I still will space them out, but I at least wanna see if this guy can catch up. Let's check it out. I think right now we are in the, what are we in right now? Are we in the off-road police? Yes, we are. And look at this view right here. Holy God, that was a close one, but we're still doing fairly well. Uh, someone's bumper is currently hanging off our trailer hitch, but that's how it goes when you work in this field. <laughs> Coming down the mountain. here Now, this is where people usually end up screwing up, right over here by these rocks. Let's see how well they do. We're doing pretty good, though. This is a hell of a chase so far. Everyone else is screwed. I don't know if we have any of our companions that may be making it down the hillside. We don't see anyone right now, so they're probably never going to catch up. Oh, we're missing a tire. That sucks. That's going to make this really tough. No wonder the vehicle's wobbling all over the place. Yep. And there goes the backside. Trying to recover, but this poor, this poor sheriff's vehicle is just so beat. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm hoping there's only one guy in here. Yep, that's it. That's... Nope, he's still going. Rear... The rear friggin' gate is all messed up. All the glass. Well, no, actually, some of the glass is still in good condition. It's just the rear glass and the side glass. How do you like that? How is he catching up? How the hell is he catching up to the beast? I think that the beast is actually toying with him. He's like, eh, he's not gonna. All right, I guess I'll go ahead and put my foot on the gas again. Eh, he's probably not gonna catch me. Yeah, I'll put my foot on the gas again. Look at that little pond over here. This is, the scenery on this map is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful scenery for a police chase, wouldn't you boys say? You guys said, don't let it end until it ends. I don't know if it's ever gonna end, man. I don't think that this police cruiser can catch him. No, there's no way he can at this point. You know, he does just well enough to the point where I'm like, maybe he'll do it. Maybe he's the Superman of police. Maybe it's possible. What do you think? Should old Gray get behind the wheel? Do you think, what is that? What is that over there? Is that the border patrol? I think, no, I think it's one of the Furwood police vehicles. 
It looks like it went through a friggin' trash compactor, but somehow it's still going. Is it gonna catch up? No joke. Look at Furwood right over here. Can you believe this crap? Get out of the way, he says to the sheriff's vehicle. Well, sort of, the sheriff would get out of the way. I think he's got all of his tires. He does! But now they just caught one another on the turn over here, and now they're both freaking screwed. Way to go, guys! Way to freaking go! How are you? How are either of you ever gonna catch this guy when you can't work together, like at all? He look at him! He almost gets past, and then the sheriff vehicle just barely gets in the way. Now, to be fair, look at how look at how thin these freaking roads are. So. It would take a lot of skill to be able to, right there. He pulled past. All right, boys. We're jumping into the, we're jumping into Furwood over here. Going through this interesting tunnel-like area. Look at this car. Look at what happened to this car. Light bar still works though, so that means that we're still police officers. Come on, baby. This is it. This is your time to shine. This is for all the promotions or all of the chiropractor visits. Get in there and get the beast. Although we're such a small vehicle and so light, I'm really not sure it can ding this thing around enough to stop it. But I mean, I guess it can give it the old school try. He's still giving it a shot, man. Oh no. Are we, are we overheating? A lot of smoke coming from the engine. I don't know as the waterfall and the water passes over. It sounds like water overhead. I don't know, there's a couple of birds over there as well. Trying to stick it to the beast, not quite able to do so. I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds, and then Gray's gonna get behind the wheel. Oh, I won't have to! He stuck it to him! Unbelievable! He, I think he's almost got free. Look at this, we're all the way down by the beachhead. No! The beast pulls away and says, screw you! Unbelievable! And here we are on the sand, and that is it. The beast makes it. This is kind of like my little getaway area. This is the last kind of bastion of vehicles. Oh, <laughs> did you see those two cars almost smash into one another? Anyway, though, let's give it up for the beast. The beast did a fantastic job at telling everyone to go screw themselves. All right, boys, we're going to finish off with this. The Desert Carrier 12 liter diesel engine. Can these guys have any chance? at taking this friggin' behemoth down. Now, they're, they're not gonna have any issue catching up to it. The question is, can you stop it? <laughs> Everyone wants a piece. Okay, they did it. I'm... <laughs> stop. Just stop. Oh, uh, look at this car. Look at what they've done. This is, some, this is like, this is illegal. It's like some sort of sheriff police molestation of Furwood. I've never seen anything like this. But they did manage to do it. I'm going to hand it to them. That's going to be it for today. The desert carrier got taken out by the police. Just barely. They managed. To, I'm, I'm actually really surprised at this. I kind of figured they were all just going to crash into the rear end. And then this was going to basically dominate the entire board because it's amazing. Guys! Hope you enjoyed this episode of Beam NG Drive, where we went off-road in all kinds of conditions. This map is amazing. Let me know if you like these kinds of chases. Nothing around to distract us from the chase, other than Mother Nature and all the rocks and cliffs and everything. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.